Hello and welcome to my tarot reading for today. Uh, I think this is like my 70th take because I'm trying to get it right. Trying to get rid of the ums and ahs. I need to learn this. Um, so anyway, this is a reading for the week ahead. Um, and take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, let it go. So uh, the three cards that came up. We'll start with the first one. We've got four pentacles. Now, um, what I thought I would do this time that made it a little easier for me is just think of ta uh, like tag words for each one. So when I look at the four pentacles, what I, what I feel is security. Four pentacles is about the material world, material possessions. And the four of, um, pentacles can ask us either, are we squirreling away too much possessions? And that includes your money, it includes your stuff. Or are we not squirreling away enough? So it's it's important to get a balance of it. So we like to have a little bit of savings for that rainy day. Um, but if we've got too much stuff, not only does it start feeling everything closes in on us because we feel it's like a hoarding situation, but also anything in the material world is designed to have a use. So shoes have a use, coats have a use, whatever. But if you enjoy collecting shoes and you have 100 pairs of shoes, but they're not being used for their purpose, then the energy is stagnant. And actually the energy around that material item can kind of seep into our own psyche. So the idea with our material possessions is meant to be used. So we have a little bit of savings in the bank for that rainy day, that's fine. But if we just keep saving and saving and saving and never doing anything with it, then that energy will be very flat. Um, it's no good in working a job and knowing that you can save a hundred pound a month, but never ever dipping into that hundred pound a month for anything. So the important thing is getting a balance. So that's what I would say is have a look at your security. Is it in balance? Do you have enough? Do you need a bit more? Um, so anyway, and it's interesting because this is, it's kind of a, it's, it's a good card because it, you can see, I mean, he's got this big box here. I know that the camera's rubbish, but it's, we, we're to believe it's full of possessions, gold, money. Um, but he looks unhappy. And actually, I think he looks constipated because um, not only has he got to be in a locked room to secure his, his stuff, but he's got to sit on it as well. But there is, you know, a remedy and his cat here is, there's a window open, his cat here is saying, you know, you can escape from this. You don't have to be uh, feeling this heavy with your possessions. So it goes on to the next card, which is the Nine of Swords. And the tag word I get with the Nine of Swords is anxiety. So um, it may be that around your possessions, there is a slight anxiety. I.e., number one, you don't have enough of maybe money in the bank. Or number two, maybe you have too much money in the bank. I know that sounds silly, how, you know, how much is too much. Meaning you're not doing anything with it. So money is meant to be used. Possessions are meant to be used. So this card to, card to me, is it, to, the tag word I have is anxiety. And if you look at the lady, she's got all these books here like she's studying. So maybe she's got her material possessions, whatever it is. Maybe it's, I don't know, shoes, clothes, money, whatever it is that she's got. And she's researching I don't know what to do. I mean, it could be that she's got a nice little uh, bit in the bank and she wants to go on holiday. So it's just loads of researching. And at some point, you've got to break out of that cycle and just, um, you just have to, well, basically look out the window. You see that there's a, you know, a new day dawning. She's just getting stuck in the research, in the detail. And swords is about the intellect. So she's thinking too much about things rather than just doing something. Um, and it actually is a positive card because the swords are pointing upwards, which means, which means the energy is going to go upwards. So if only she looked up the window, she might be able to breathe a, a breath of, of relief and think, you know what? A new day's dawning. It's going to be fine. Everything will get better. Um, so in, in regards to maybe not having enough resources, so if this is about having not having enough resources, it's saying there is a solution. There is a solution. It may take a little bit of research, but at some point you have to say, do you know what? I've researched enough. I've thought about it enough. It's going round and round and round. Now's the time for action. And March, this March apparently is going to be a, quite a like energetic month. And what I've heard from several people who do astrology and that is that um, it's a good month for starting creative processes. So that actually ties in perfectly with these two cards. Is there something so you know, something in the creative world is a possession if you build something make something and it's your time is done for researching that thing you want to do and time to get going with it and then the last card basically says you reach contentment so if you get out of your navel gazing 
and actually get and do the thing you want to do, there's contentment. So the last card is the Ten of Cups, which is the is a very ultimate card of contentment. It's usually in the emotional world, so it's relationships, but it can be any kind of contentment. So it can be contentment in some creative endeavor. So it's I think it's a fantastic spread. Um, and actually, to me, really aligns with the, the energy of March. And it's interesting because when I pull these general readings, it's for whoever. And when I first looked at these cards, I thought, okay, that's the universe talking to me because I have some innate talents. I have a foundation because I'm a pretty smart cookie. So I have some good foundation in things. But I am spending, I will admit, way too much time researching. Do I want to do this? Do I want to make that? Do I want to go here? Do I want to go there? And if I just got off my butt and did something, do you know what? I'm going to reach contentment and I'm going to be able to go, ha, ah, this feels good. I'm actually happy. I'm doing what I want to do and I'm enjoying life. So that's my reading for today, for the week ahead. And I hope something resonated with you. And please do put in the comments below what you liked, what you didn't like. And if there's any specific kind of readings that you want, please let me know because I'm happy to share. I need the practice. So this is this is a great medium for me able to practice my readings. And thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day wherever you are on planet Earth and namaste.